Natalie writes, question. I don't understand why you're saying do not have expectation. Isn't that isn't your coaching main idea to veto prospects based on our expectations and values? All right, I want to differentiate between an expectation and a desire. Okay. Let me try to give an example. I expect every man to be six foot tall and I'll date no man less than six foot tall. Okay, that's, is you know, the minute you set up an expectation, like I'm using that as an example, versus I would prefer to date men six or six foot taller, but it's not an absolute. An expectation is an absolute versus a desire has some wiggle room in it. And I got to tell you something, folks, men and women do this habitually as they create these ridiculous expectations of one another that no human being can meet. So for example, I expect men to be honest. Well, the reality is, is every human being has lied at some point in their life. Well, Jonathan, if they're once a liar, they're always a liar and I can't date a liar. Look at We've got to recognize that when we put people up on an expectation pedestal, we will be weeding out almost every viable opportunity out there. So a desire is different than an expectation. Now, a standard is also a little bit different. So let me give you an example of a standard. And I always talk about my standard in relationship. I'm looking for a relationship where we spend three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, uh, traveling together, teamwork, building skills, both in our personal and our professional lives, intimacy, both emotional and physical intimacy that leads to either moving in, to getting, get, moving in together or getting married. Okay, that's my standard. I establish that from front. I'm not, now, does that mean I can't compromise in some areas? Absolutely, I can compromise a little bit in some areas. That's the whole point. Expectation, there is no room for compromise. Now, boundary is what's okay and what's not okay for you. So that's also in the equation as well. So coming back to your original question, an expectation means there's no room for compromise, whereas a standard or a desire allows for compromise. And the reality is, is every relationship is gonna require some level of compromise. Whereas when we set up expectations, there's no room to compromise. And that's where I'm differentiating. Um, and by the way, I certainly wouldn't want you to compromise your standards. I wouldn't want you to compromise your boundaries, but certainly we can compromise in areas that are sometimes on some level superficial versus, uh, in other words, like using the height example. I mean, would you, if you always have to be with men six foot tall, would you meet, would you like reject a guy 5'11 and one quarter? That's what I'm talking about in these cases. So thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it. All right, now we got a bunch of questions popping in. 